Hey, this is James Pelton, and you know, I'm always looking to bring you passive income plays, and specifically, I've been kind of looking outside of crypto. I'll always love crypto, I'll always love DeFi, but we've been burned enough, and we're in a tough enough of a market where I'm starting to broaden my horizon out to other things. And based on feedback I've been getting from my audience, another thing I'm looking for are passive income plays that require low capital to get going. I have my Amazon store, my Facebook drop shipping, those types of things, but those require a lot of capital to get going. So today I'm bringing for you a passive income opportunity that requires no capital to get started. Okay, and that should be exciting. I think this is perfect for stay at home moms, perfect for just in the evening, something that you can put together or something that you might even be able to outsource. So what I'm talking about is Kindle Direct Publishing from Amazon. Basically what Amazon will do is you can put a book for sale, a non-published, non-printed book. You just have the PDF, for example. You can put it for sale on Amazon and then when someone buys it, they will go ahead and print it and they'll give you a portion of the sale. So it's a way for you to get a book to market without any upfront costs. I mean, this is this is revolutionary. I mean, nobody, this has not been possible in the history of the world before. And you might say your first objection might be, hey, that's not passive income. You have to write a book to make that happen. But the way that you accomplish this with very little effort is you make low content books. So low content books are books that require very little effort from the author, which is you in this case. And examples of those would be like journal. Every, I journal for my Bible study every single day for the last 15 years and I've bought in probably a hundred journals to just write in. Well, for the journal maker, they're publishing a book that doesn't require any writing on their part. So other ideas, you can do planners, you can do calendars, you can do activity books, and I'll show you kind of how you can do these things fairly easily and start getting some sales. So the hardest part of something like this is the research that goes into figuring out, well, what types of book will, books will sell? So for example, if I just put out James Pelton's Greatest Wisdom book or something like that, chances are that's not gonna sell very well because, not because I don't have a lot of wisdom, but because no one is on Amazon searching for James Pelton's Wisdom or something like that. So you have to kind of find these low content books that are in keywords that people are actually looking for. So the software that I use to do this is called Book Bolt. So you definitely, you can try doing all this on your own without their help. You can just go to Kindle, kdp.amazon.com, start making your books. And I'll show you here in a minute how it's done. But I do recommend using a tool like Book Bolt to do your keyword research. They help with your cover design. And they also have a lot of cool templates that you can put into your book, like for calendars and things like that. And I'll show you all that's here. Book Bolt is how I found out about this in the first place. They approached me and this was, I was not aware that you could do this on Amazon, but it's very cool. Book Bolt makes it super, super easy. So there is a price for Book Bolt. So again, you you can do this on your own, but I think you'll be more successful if using book, something like Book Bolt for your keyword research, your cover design, finding out how much, how much Amazon search volume there is for a particular keyword. And I'll show you like the puzzle creation that they have. Cause you can do like, you can do coloring books, puzzles. I mean, there's all sorts of things that you can put in books. The sky is the limit. Book Bolt gives you three day free trial so you can try it out before you commit to anything. And it's not that much compared to what you could potentially make from this. So I do, you can use promo code James Pelton, no space, this will be in the description down below, but you'll get 20% off, okay? So 20% off, 10 bucks a month is eight bucks a month. So there you go. So when you log into BookBolt, they have a lot of good tutorials to show you how everything works. I wanna just show you, I'll show you the process. It'll take just a couple minutes. Process of going from research to actually putting a book together, to getting it listed on Amazon, so all the way through. So the first thing that I would do is go to this cloud tab here, and you can kind of see what are some of the top selling books, because a lot of times you can just copy something, honestly. Imitation's the most sincere form of flattery. So if you want to, you can be real creative and try to find out, maybe you wanna print your own music sheets or calendar or coloring book or whatever. But I find that like a journal is pretty easy, but you can say I want the top 100 best-selling journals that, we'll say prayer journals. 
Okay, so we'll just kind of see what pops up here at the top. So you can see these are some of the printed by Amazon books that are currently up there. The top results for prayer journals, the top 100. So like we have this one, it's a prayer journal for women, guided prayer notebook for women of God, and it sells 652 per month. Okay, and this BSR is like the search rating. So you want that low. That means that this shows up a lot for people in Amazon. So this was published in September 12th of 2020 and it sells six, even today, it's selling 652 per month. So it costs $7. Amazon does all the hard work, just made this, they designed this from their home. And then Amazon does the hard work of publishing and I'm guessing on $7, we'll kind of, I'll kind of show you how the revenue works, but on $7, it's probably 250 to publish and then they get 60%. So they probably get $2.70 per sale would be my guess. And so if you look at times 652 a month, so whoever published this, Elizabeth Crowley, congratulations to you, but she's making 1700 bucks book. And I guarantee her it didn't take very long. I mean, these are better done very long. I mean, these are better done than, than some. You'll see mine, mine are not very good, but you'll get better at it too as you go. So this is kind of a good way to see, get ideas for what maybe could you make. So I saw this and I thought, well, how about a prayer journal for men? We see a lot of women ones, but how about for men? So and then you can use this, like you can say minus woman. So don't show me woman prayer journals. Nothing against women. There's just a lot of them out there already. Let's do minus woman, minus women. Okay, so there's not a lot of prayer journals for men. So next thing you want to do is you want to see, well, is there actually demand for that? Are there people searching for that? So what you can do, you can go to keywords, go to search, do prayer journal for men. And this will show you how many searches there are for that particular keyword. And kind of a general rule I found is you want there to be at least a thousand of a particular keyword, at least a thousand people searching for it. I believe this is per month. So like we've got 30 day prayer journal for men. There's 3000 people searching for it. Some of this is not on Amazon. This is like on Google, but you can kind of get an idea for like this. There's hardly any, at least on Google, there's hardly any other 30 day prayer journal for men. So that might be it, but there's a lot of search for it. 52 week prayer journal for men. I mean, there, there's probably a lot of opportunity here. Now, something like this, there's only 2,188 searches for a prayer journal, and it looks like there's gonna be high competition just based on the Google results. So this gives you an idea of, well, what kind of a book? And again, you can make as many as you want. There's no, like you can make a book and it flops. And if it only took you 10 or 15 minutes, it's not really that big of a deal. And there might be a little trial and error to figure out what kind of cover do I need to do to make this work? And I'll show you how that works here in a second as well. They have a lot of other features as well. I'm not gonna show you all of them. You can go look based on the seller. So you might find someone that is particularly successful. Like maybe you just wanna kind of see what this, maybe you just kind of wanna see what this Elizabeth Crowley is up to. You can kind of search her and see Okay, what else has she done? And sorry to creep on you, Elizabeth. Hopefully you're not, not watching this, but you can see, okay, so she's just made two things. She made a prayer journal for women and a gratitude journal for women. And it's interesting because this one, the prayer journal is getting 652 sales a month. The gratitude journal is getting one sale. So what you call it, I mean, they're basically the same thing, but that keyword is gonna be really big. There's a lot of people searching for prayer journal for women. There's not a lot of people searching for gratitude journal for women. So again, you can kind of research through here and figure out what's going to work best for you. Once you kind of have an idea of what you're going to do, again, you can switch from research to you can use book bolt studio to kind of get this created. So this is one I put together and I am not an artist. Okay. So actually I'm going to create a new one for you, show you how to get this book created. We can do it here in just a couple of minutes, but I cheated. So this is my first one. You can kind of see, this is just a, some design software that you can use to put a, a cover together. And I'm doing my prayer journal for men. I put just some notes on the first page about kind of my goal. So I like to write out my prayer requests. I like to write out and kind of clear my mind of, Hey, here's all the anxieties I'm going through. So create a journal to do that for people. And then here's how the pages all look. They're all exactly the same. And you can kind of set the pages for however many pages you want to put in. Obviously the more pages you do, the more it's going to cost for Amazon to publish it. 
So again, you take that into consideration as you're making these. I kind of want to show you building a new one from scratch. So I'm just going to do new project and you can do any of these. But again, for low content books, you're kind of wanting a cheap, cheap price. So I want to just do cover in interior of a paperback and I'll call this my prayer. Whoops, my prayer journal for men. You can pick the size. It seems like most of them are six by nine. So a normal piece of paper is eight and a half by 11. So six by nine is kind of more of a standard book. If you want color or if you want black and white, I recommend black and white makes it a lot cheaper. I think cream should be okay. And then usually you want no bleed. I can't remember why. That's just what they said. So create project. Now for this one, I recognize that I am a bad designer. So what I've actually done is on Fiverr, I paid someone $7 and 28 cents and they made me a cover. Okay. Cause I realized this is what economy is. I do what I'm good at. You do what you're good at. And then we exchange for that. So I understand I am not able to create things. So this lady off Fiverr for seven bucks, she created something like this. And I think that looks, that looks way better than what I was going to do. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put in an image. I'm going to upload image. So there you go. So she made that for me, it cost me seven bucks. So hopefully I make that back. You can design it yourself. It's just not gonna look as good if you have no artistic ability. Now, if you have artistic ability, design your own. It'd actually be probably be a lot of fun. Then what I'm gonna do just to keep it brief is you can click this puzzles thing here and there's just all these different templates that you can use that you can put into your book. So, I mean, there's a ton of them that you can use. So you can literally make anything here that you want. Tax deduction, donation tracker, wine journal. You could make whatever you're, you want. So for something like a journal, I'm just going to do ruled. And then there's a couple different options. I'm just going to do college ruled. And then I just want to put it on, let's see, let's select all, not the cover, but I just want to put those lines on every page. Again, you can kind of get some ideas. I just went to Amazon, my prayer journal for men and just get some ideas for how you want it to look. Obviously, it's not going to be you can't print something like that. And this is obviously more expensive. It's going to be leather. So I'm just going to do a soft cover, but I just want to see how many pages they put in here. 180 pages. So maybe we'll go something like that. So I actually I think it'll be easier rather than adding pages. I'm just going to do new project cover interior my prayer journal for men two three now six by nine no bleed and let's just do 150 pages great project this will be a lot easier so again on the cover go ahead and put this in and then on each page we're going to do this college rule select all except for the cover next very cool software Okay, then you're actually done design. I mean, if you want to put something on the back, you can mess with the colors or you want to do, but you could just keep it as simple as this. And again, you might have to do some trial and error to figure out what sells well and things like that. But now I'm just going to download this and you can just do as a CMYK. It'll take a little bit, but then it'll start the download. Okay, so now you just need to put the book up on Kindle Direct Publishing. So sign into your it's kdp.amazon.com. You're gonna create, you can see I've made a couple. This was actually my daughter made an activity book for kids and I'll show you that here in a minute. But just go to create. We're gonna do a paperback for this case. Book title is My Prayer Journal for Men. And again, you can mess around with this if you want a subtitle. I mean, it looks like they have a subtitle here. You could do something similar to that. I think for this one, I might just leave I might leave no subtitle. Not part of a series. You can make a series. You could say prayer. Bible stuff. I mean, you could make a series if you wanted to. Edition number. Yeah. You can do a pen name. You can really put anything here you want. I'll just put my name. I don't care. If there's other contributors you want to add there, give them credit. You do probably need a good description. So again, I try to look at ones that sell well and do something like that. You don't want to just copy it exactly, but you can kind of see what information people are going to be looking at. So I just put a little simple description. I own the copyright to the lines and then your keywords. So this is going to be important. So you want to make sure you do the exact keyword you were kind of going after with after you might just put in some other things related to that prayer journal for men, prayer journal, men's prayer journal, man, prayer journal. And you're gonna choose your categories. Sometimes these are hard to find for me. I mean, I've only done a few of them, but uh, it's not a Bible. Let's see what categories this one's in. 
when in doubt, copy it out. So Christian's men issues, Christian's spiritual growth. So maybe we'll do that. So I found under religion. This might take you a little bit to find out exactly where to put it. Christian life. I'll do general. You can only pick two categories. So I'll do general and prayer. Oh, men's issues. Forget general. I'll do men's issues and prayer. This is a low content book. So it's not large print, but it is low content, which just means it's a journal, doesn't have much content. No adult content, successful. So you can, if it's self-published, you're not gonna have an ISBN. So you can just do publish without an ISBN. If you do have it published somewhere else, you probably don't need to be watching this video, but use your own ISBN. Publication date is just when it's live on Amazon is fine. Here you can pick if you want white paper or cream paper. It doesn't really matter, it's just kind of looks. They recommend this for fiction and memoirs and white for nonfiction. So I'm gonna do not black and white, white paper. Again, you can do color stuff too. It's just gonna raise the printing price. So you're gonna have to mess around with the pricing a little. We did do six by nine, that's kind of normal. We did no bleed and we'll have, do we want matte for the cover or glossy? I might go with glossy for this one. So then we upload the paperback manuscript. So I'm and back over here, it's still actually downloading the book. It actually has taken a few minutes, maybe about five minutes to get this all finished and downloaded. But then when you open this up, it'll open up a zip with, this is your cover and this is your transcript. Okay, so there's gonna be two PDFs. You don't really need to worry about this sources. So go back to Amazon, upload the manuscript. The manuscript is going to be the second file, the PDF that isn't the cover. And that worked okay, processing your file. And then you're going to, you can use, Amazon actually has a pretty decent cover creator also. I did not mean to open it there, but I already have the cover created, so I'm just gonna use that. So use your cover file, and it's the first PDF that BookBolt made for you. That was successful. We didn't put a barcode, they'll do that themselves. And then you launch a preview, and the preview will show you if you did anything wrong in this process. So this shows you what your book will look like. So you can kind of go through it. You don't have to go through every page. But it'll tell you if there's any issues and it didn't find any issues, but this is what it's gonna look like. Just simple. I didn't even put page numbers on this one. You could do that. There's a lot of things you can do with BookBolt that I don't even know about yet. I'm just discovering it along with you. But then you probably can't see it. It's over here on the right. My screen's too big but this approve over in the bottom right, and this page should be all good. So they tell you it's gonna be 265 to print this. The glossy, I think made it, it probably would be about 40 cents cheaper maybe if I didn't do glossy. I mean, if it was fewer pages, it would be cheaper as well, but it's about 265 to print. So I'll go to next and we can set our price. So you would sell everywhere, put it on Amazon. So here's where you put in your price and the minimum is gonna be 442. So you probably, Pricing, you usually don't wanna think about how much money you're gonna make. You wanna think about how much will people buy it for. So one way to do it is like, this is nicer. It's leather and things like that. It's $18. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to sell for 18 bucks. But this one looks like maybe it's not as nice. <laughs> and it's selling for 732. So maybe what I'll do, I'll be sneaky. I'll go 731. And it calculates, so I'll get $1.74 per purchase at that price. So again, if I, Remember that top women's one was selling about 650 a month. So if I was able to sell that much, I'd make 1100 bucks a month off of that. So again, you can mess around with this a little bit. Maybe I wanna do 799, then I get 214 royalty, you know. So again, just kinda, but you, there's a balance in pricing because if you make it too high, nobody will buy it. If you make it too low, you don't make as much money. So then it takes 72 hours for it to show up on Amazon. You can request a proof where they'll actually print it and ship it to you. That'll take a while then, and you can look through it before you actually put it out there, but I'm just gonna do publish your paperback book. All right, there it's gonna, so they're gonna review it. it takes about 72 hours. I put this $8 book up on Amazon. You can do an ebook. That doesn't make sense for a journal because it's just gonna be a bunch of lines, but if you were doing word puzzles or something like that, which I wanna show you here, you could do an ebook also. So, and I just wanna show you, this was a activity book that my 10 year old daughter made, okay? So it's not too difficult. Activity book for kids, over 50 games and puzzles, and she put a couple puzzles there, mazes. So what you can do again, when you, if you go to these templates here, they have all sorts of different puzzles you can do. You can do word search, you can do different mazes and they're randomly generated mazes. So for example, if I, if I add a page here and let's say I want to make a maze on here, it'll just do a randomly generated maze. Let's do one of those, those are cool. And put it on this page, you can select all these pages. You can see all the things I have, different mazes on these pages, 
some word scrambles here, some word searches here. Just mess around with it and use your creativity. But I just do that. It's going to randomly generate a maze for me. And there you go. Now I have a maze. You can move it around, resize it based on what exactly you want to do in your book. And then you go through the exact same process to download it, put it up as an Amazon book. That took me all of five minutes. And again, the plan is to get enough books out there, start figuring out which ones are selling, which ones don't sell. And then this can be a passive income source for you that doesn't require capital to get started. So I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you like this type of content, please hit the like button. Also go hit, I think this is the right corner, but go hit the subscribe button down there. I mean, you'll see more stuff like this. This is the direction I kind of want to go with a lot of my channel is I'm not stuck in crypto. I just want to help people find ways to make money, to find passive income plays. So comment down below your favorite passive income plays. I'd love to check them out. I'm happy to be the guinea pig. I'll be showing you. I'm going to create a bunch of books. My plan is to create maybe a book a day for 30 days. And then I'll kind of start showing you guys which ones have gotten any sales. Maybe I've made 30 books and none of them have sales. I'm not very talented when it comes to design like this. So I think I'll do worse than probably a lot of you would, but I'll definitely be doing updates as we go forward. So again, if you want the Book Bolt software, the $10 a month, which if you used uh, promo code James Pelton, you get 20% off. The 20 bucks a month includes the puzzle creation software. So that's the only difference. So if you're not going to use the mazes and things like that, you can skip the pro and just do this. I think you save a, you get a couple free months if you pay for a year up front. So if you think sometimes too, I like to pay for a year to make sure I stick with something. Um, when you pay for something, there's chances if you are trying to do something for free that you don't stick with it. But if you do it, if you put in some money, that kind of makes you dedicated. Have your kids build some. That's again, what I'm, one of my plans. I put my kids to work. So I appreciate you guys really enjoy making content like this. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.